Hey guys, today I will show you where and how to get that clean looking phone app found only on Google Pixel and Nexus devices without requiring a root access on your phone. The problem with this app is that even if you were to download the APK separately from apkmirror.com let's say and try to install it on a non-Pixel or Nexus device, it won't work. It will show a message saying app not installed. And that's the reason why it won't even show up in the Play Store for you if you are on a non-Google device. The only obvious workaround for this for a while was to flash it from a custom recovery as a system app, which obviously requires to be rooted, and that's why we won't be looking into this solution today. Thanks to the developer I'm Robot from XDA, we now have a chance to get the patched version of the Google Phone app on most of the Android devices running Android Marshmallow and higher. So follow the link in the description down below to get to this forum post on XDA. I scroll a little bit and download the latest available version under the download section. And for the time being, leave that downloaded APK file alone because we're gonna need to take some steps on your device to ensure seamless performance for the Google dialer. You should note that there are some known issues, but also some ways to resolve them too. So read through the forum for your general awareness if you want. With the first step, we should go into your phone settings, then apps, and make sure to make system apps visible. By going to the upper right corner menu, on most of the phones and tap on the show system. Now scroll and locate your current phone app. Tap on it and disable it if that option is available to you. If not, like you see on my phone, then go into the permissions for the phone app and disable all the granted permissions. On some devices there is an extra app to be disabled called In Call UI. So search for it in your apps and if you find it, do the exact thing we did to the phone app previously. Disable it or, if it's not possible, revoke all the permissions. With the second step, go ahead and install the previously downloaded Google app. When the installation is done, tap on Done. And once again, go into your app settings and locate the newly installed Google phone app. It should have this dark blue rounded icon. Tap on it, go into permissions and grant all of them. Now reboot your phone and give it a try. Check if you can successfully access your contacts, make and receive phone calls. If all is working, then congratulations, you have the native phone app from a Google Pixel phones and your phone looks and functions a little more like a stack Android device. I would strongly recommend you to follow this XDA forum for updates and bug reports. This is it guys, thank you for your attention and have a nice day.